Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we also gonna have a look into Ethereum, but first we also gonna have a look where we close the traditional markets like the DXY, Nasdaq and of course also the CME chart for Bitcoin. So this video is brought to you by the MCS exchange, here you can trade all the cryptos that you want, not only up to 100x but up to 150x and if you sign up with my link you will get instantly $55 in trading bonus and also you can participate here on this event where you can win up to $500 and every month there are some special events where you can get even more trading bonus. So now let's dive straight here into the content and let's have a look first where we close the traditional markets for Bitcoin. So we closed here on the CME chart at around $48,000. Keep that price level in mind because very often wherever we're going during the weekends, we most of the times are retracing back to that level. And I want to focus here quickly into the weekly time frame because here on the CME chart, we closed successfully above the 50 weekly moving average, which is very important. This support is very important to behold, especially here on the CME chart. And you can see that this with this weekly candle, we came down to touch the 50 weekly moving average and we also came up to touch the 20 weekly moving average. So we have with both weeks a very important resistance and support level and we closed right in the middle. So it looks like that someone is playing with us because uh, we just came down to test this important weekly support and this important weekly resistance. So it's going to be very interesting to see where we're going to close the next coming week candles because those are going to tell us if we're gonna continue the corrective phase and maybe even face some more dumps maybe even down towards $30,000 or if we're able to resume the bull market and expect new all-time highs incoming since we got supported at this very very important support level on the weekly time frame and in theory here we are still in an uptrend after this higher high we got now a potential higher low and therefore we should look forward for a nice rally into new all-time highs so into higher highs only if somewhere we would get lower highs then of course the chances are high that here we are going to reverse the trend and continue the downtrend so it's going to be very important that here we're gonna see a fast recovery as soon as possible and of course also continue to create higher highs on the weekly time frame so even though we have a very undecisive weekly close here on the CMEs, at least we tested the support at the 50 weekly moving average, so we closed above of it. But of course bearish is that we tested the 20 weekly as a resistance and so far we got rejected. So the next coming weeks are going to be very important for Bitcoin. And if we have a look where we closed here the DXY, you can see that we closed right below the 20 daily moving average. So here I still expect at least a correction down to retest the support of this rising channel here currently at around $94. Also you can see that money flow is decreasing. So I think that here we are entering into some more corrective phases uh, to at least test the main support. And that could be a leading indicator that Bitcoin and the crypto market overall will do fine here in the next coming days and weeks and that we should expect at least a rally and at the other hand we should also expect continuation to the upside in the stock market and this is in my opinion what we should expect here also for Nasdaq because uh, yesterday even though we had an initial close below the 20 daily moving average you can see that we didn't test it as a resistance immediately we broke above again and I think that this was a fake out and that we most likely are going to see some bullish price action here very very soon especially if we have daily closes here here above $16,500. This is our new resistance that we had since the all time high. So once we have daily closes above $16,500, I think that here we are going to see very explosive moves to the upside and that will fire up also the crypto market in my opinion. So for Bitcoin it's going now to be important that we are able to start an uptrend as soon as possible, especially in the lower time frames. Here we have the Bitstamp chart and here in the four hour, it looks like that we have right now the nine moving 
moving average in the four hour time frame as a support so as long as we are trying to push higher here and we have four hour closes above the nine moving average and even better it would be above the 20 moving average at around forty eight thousand eight hundred dollars then in my opinion we are going to see another attempt of pushing above the EMA ribbons in the four hour time frame and once we have four hour closes above of it so at least above fifty thousand dollars we should then be in here for a nice rally up into this main resistance that we have currently at around fifty five thousand dollars and this resistance trend line is coming from the previous tops that we had since the all-time high of around sixty-nine thousand dollars so this is why you see this is a very important resistance and once we are breaking here to the upside i think that bitcoin has very good chances to continue the uptrend here and start to create higher highs and higher lows in the daily time frame but until then we are still in this corrective phase and we should be prepared that bitcoin could head way way lower if here at the last resort of the we are not going to see a huge move to the upside and in the lower time frames we're still in a downtrend so we first have to wait until we're getting an uptrend in the four hour then daily and then of course all the continuation in the weekly time frame here in the four hour money flow is still negative and we're still below the 50 level of the RSI so once we bring the four hour time frame back above the 50 level in the RSI and also we have four hour closes above the EMA ribbons, I think that then we are going to see this potential big double bottom formation to play out and therefore the target would be up here at the main resistance of 55k and if we're going to have four hour and daily closes above 55k, I think that here we will initiate a big run up because if we're able to recover back into this falling wedge and also break out to the upside and go back into this bigger rising channel the next potential big resistance would be up here at around eighty two thousand dollars so if Bitcoin is able to continue the uptrend and also break out here to the upside above this resistance that we still have at around 55k this is going to be the most important resistance that needs to be broken in order to resume the bull market then we're going to see explosive moves to the upside but until then there is still a high chance that we can continue here the downtrend and if we're going to lose here this last resort of the bulls this last support at around forty seven thousand dollars then we can expect that we are in here for a major crash crash maybe even down towards the 30k area again and if we go over into the weekly time frame here you can see again the 9 and 20 weekly moving average the 20 weekly right here at $52,000 so this is of course the first resistance that needs to get broken then the 55k and at the end also of course the 9 weekly moving average at around $59,000 I think that if we are able to reach that price target we should be already out of the woods and we should expect uh, the 9 weekly moving average to be broken because usually that is not a very strong resistance the more important resistance is this one here at the 20 week weekly moving average. So Bitcoin has the chance here to reverse the trend but everything is going to be depending what will happen once we are starting an uptrend here in the four hour time frame and of course what will happen here at the main resistance at 55k. I think as soon as we have daily closes and even better weekly closes above 55k we should look forward towards that 80k Bitcoin in the next coming weeks. I don't expect this to happen very quickly like in the month of December but at least for Q1 for next year I think that we should gear up again towards new time highs for Bitcoin latest if this support at around 47k is holding and wherever Bitcoin is going of course also the altcoins will follow like Ethereum for example here also we had a breakdown again but it looks like that Ethereum is also holding the support here of around three thousand nine hundred dollars which is very important here we have the 100 daily moving average but also here on Ethereum we must start an uptrend again in the daily time frame because for now we have lower highs and lower lows and that is bearish for Ethereum. So all the Ethereum needs to close at least above the EMA ribbons at around $4,300 and even better above the previous highs at $4,450 in order to start an uptrend here which will lead of course into new all-time highs again because I'm still very bullish here for Ethereum and if Bitcoin is reaching that 80k target I think that Ethereum could also reach 6 k the next fibonacci extension level out of this big correction that we had 
But as usual, everything is gonna be depending where Bitcoin is going and Ethereum needs also to break above this previous support trend line, which is lining up right here at $4,450, right where we had this uh, previous high here in order to resume here this uh, big bull market and not to drop lower here. Because also here for Ethereum, we are in this last resort for the bulls. If we would close below $3,800, the daily candles, this could initiate a retest of the 200 daily moving average to retest this important moving average and of course all in the past this was resistance now it should be acting as a new support and if this wouldn't hold the last resort would be then down here at around two thousand seven hundred dollars and i don't want to tell you where would be the target if we would lose the main support that we have here in the bigger picture at around two thousand seven hundred dollars so you see that both on ethereum and also bitcoin we are in a very critical point but if bitcoin is starting here an uptrend in the next coming days then i think that we have also very good chances for ethereum and overall for the crypto market for a very fast recovery and for a nice continuation of our bull market and for bitcoin the target here of this descending triangle that we covered in the last couple of videos let's say it is already met because with this week that we had we came very close to the target so i think uh, the target is reached here and if we're gonna create that double bottom formation that i was expecting already when we drawn here this descending triangle i told you that if we're coming down and we successfully bounce again at this important support level of around 47k that it's very likely that here we could form a bullish pattern and therefore then gear up towards the main resistance of 55k and if we break also this one we're definitely gonna see a nice continuation of our bull market so what's this Oh, that's the SecuX hardware wallet. If you are interested in purchasing one, use the links in the video description because with this one, you can safely store all your cryptos that you want and you have a nice built-in touchscreen. So if you're interested, use the links in the video description because with my coupon codes, you will get some discounts. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out the MCS exchange with my link because like that you will get instantly $55 in bonus and if you are living in a country where you cannot access to all the exchanges that you want then use pure VPN because with this VPN you can access to all the exchanges that you want wherever you are in the world and with my discount code you can get 10% discount. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!